Canvas Problems 111 Overwhelming Canvas Options. Just the tip. All right. Today we're going to be talking about the overwhelming canvas options that you might have encountered. If you've been in an art store, especially one of our stores, it is like canvas everywhere. So many options. I mean, I have enough trouble picking a size, as you know. We had to do a whole video just on that. Stretched in rolls, folded, panels, pads. You have overwhelming canvas options. We're going to narrow it down and just talk about probably the most basic of questions. Canvas versus linen and their priming. Why is having the right surface so important? There is something going on that you're not even aware of. There's a battle going on. This wants to hold your paint. Every time you do a stroke of the brush, there's a battle to hold on to that paint between the brush and the surface, and the surface has to win. When it comes to canvas, officially, you know, everybody thinks just canvas is anything that kind of, you know, looks like this, but canvas means cotton. And the best quality is cotton duck canvas, okay? That's gonna be the artist quality. You've probably seen, no matter where you go, whether it's a craft store or an art store, um, universally primed cotton canvas. Now, universally primed means acrylic prime because it will accept oils, acrylics, alkyds, uh, you know, any flexible media it will accept. Uh, watercolor might be flexible, but it's really thin. You, you don't use watercolor on acrylic prime. And canvas comes in many different textures, so just find the one that works for you, you know, feel it out. You gotta feel these out. Canvas, okay, is also very flexible, which means it's easy to stretch. So if you're a beginner uh, and you wanna stretch your own canvas, good for you. However, everything comes at a price. Even things being less expensive comes at a price, metaphorically. You see what I did? Because it's so flexible, it's not ideal if you're painting on a very, very large scale, okay? That flexibility will mean that it is more apt to sag. This says 15 ounce primed weight, okay? That is something important to know because it could be a little, I don't wanna say a little tricky, I think it's a little marketing trick, okay? I tell you the real deal on YouTube, all right? That means that it's 15 ounce after it's been primed. Now this has been primed at least two times, maybe three. When, when you see that, just know that that isn't the canvas itself that's 15 ounce, it's the total package weight. And you can see, oh, this is the, these are the, <coughs> this back stapling. This is where if over time it starts to sag or uh, you want to stretch it another way or display it another way, you can remove this canvas, okay, and restretch it or do whatever you want with it. It is a, a flexibility thing, an option. This canvas is what's called gusseted. It's really clean looking, it's tight. The problem is you cannot restretch this. Now it's time for fancy pants. You ready for fancy pants, Mr. Fancy Pants? Linen is going to be a more expensive option. But what is that price buying you, okay? It is going to be a stronger, more durable. This is um, a more archival product than cotton. Now cotton's great, cotton's not gonna go anywhere. I mean, it'll last uh, several lifetimes, but historically speaking, linen is more archival. So linen's uh, made out of flax, and one of the things that helps its archivalness and the tightness of the weave is that the fibers are actually longer. Like if this was the size of a cotton fiber, a linen fiber would be considerably longer. It's a longer, tighter, more durable material, and it also is gonna be a little bit less susceptible to the elements. So if it's like a really humid environment, now humidity can cause saggage or molding, it's gonna be a little bit less susceptible to those things because it's so much tighter. It can be primed with acrylic primer, that universal primer, okay? Uh, and, and that's available out there. But you will also find oil prime linen, okay? Oil prime linen is the ideal surface for oil paint. The way it bonds and reacts with an oil prime linen means that the paint is actually gonna sit up on top instead of being absorbed in. You know, why do we prime at all? Because if we were just to paint on raw canvas or linen, that paint would actually be seeped in to the cotton or the linen fiber and really dull the painting out. Oil prime canvas is also sized in addition to primed. It's also gonna to help to repel the oil paint from seeping in, and it's gonna give you a brighter product. This is where it gets so confusing, okay. Oil over acrylic, never acrylic on top of oil. If you paint an acrylic paint on an oil prime canvas, it will peel off, it's not going to bond. Now why is it that you can paint oil on top of acrylic, but not acrylic on top of oil? A lot of it has to do with drying times, okay? Oil paint takes a long time to dry. It might feel dry to the touch, but if it's still technically wet, 
that is not going to form a very strong bond. That's just a good safety tip you got. You might also find other universal primers out there, primers that are uh, clear, okay? Now clear prime linen is actually kind of cool. Uh, here's a portrait, hopefully we can find a photo of this, uh, a, a portrait done of my grandfather, okay? This was done on a clear primed linen. So you can kind of see how on the sides there, they let the canvas show through as part of the art experience. So please prime your canvas, prime your linen, and prime me on Instagram at Mike Not Jerry, where I will explain what these little giblets to the canvas do. Yeah, now I have to make sure that we do that well. And don't forget, if you have any further questions about canvas, put them below. I'll either answer them on there, consider them for future videos, consider them for future just the tip. And this video is dedicated to Adam. Sing him a song. Sing him a song. I don't want to wait for our lives to be over. I had this joke. Is it worth resetting up for? Yeah, I think so. It's like betting against Rocky in a Rocky movie, okay? Rocky's going to win, or at least tie. That's all I wanted to do. Really? Yeah, sorry. Okay, but he didn't lose. It was a draw. No, he lost. Cut this whole thing out. I was wrong. <laughs> Fact check. All right, we had to go to HillaryClinton.com to find out if what I just said was accurate. That you laugh. <laughs>